Come on, man. Time to get up. Come on, homie. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. All right, just rise. Come on. Come on, Maddie. Come on, man. Earthquake. Ah! Typhoon. Typhoon. Come on, Maddie. Come on. Oh, oh, my God. His face is conjoining. He's becoming da 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 da. Awake, boy. <laughs> oh man, Maggie. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, man. It's time to get up. Let's go. Come on, man. Come on. Okay, you take the soda, the chips, right, and the dip. What are you gonna take? Last seat on the couch, sucker! <laughs> Whoa! Check out that mood. That can't be legal. We missed the kickoff. We're watching the cheerleaders. Oh. <laughs> I thought Carl was coming. Well, he's supposed to be. Said he was bringing cold beer and a hot date. Well, if I know your brother, by the time he gets here, that'll be six empties and a broken heart. <laughs> Dad, there's a cheese head in the house. Oh. Hey, hey, that's the Super Bowl champion cheese head to you, fellas. Nicole, you cannot come in here with a Packer hat on. This is bear country. Oh, face it, Ben. They don't stand a chance. They are one and eight. One and eight. Not unlike the number of happy years I had married to Alex. <laughs> well, Nicole, your loss is Courtney's gain. <laughs> oh, yeah, so how is your better half your age? <laughs> Here's my brother, here with the cold beer. Hey, yeah. my brother. <laughs> What's the score? So far, I'd say Nicole's ahead by three. <laughs> Next, this is my brother Ben, my Hi. dad James, Alex, Nicole, and my nephew oh, Maddie. Boy. <laughs> Sorry we're late. My rehearsal ran over. Jeanette is a cellist with the symphony. Really? No oh, kidding. You know, my boy and I went to the concert just a couple of months ago, right, Maddie? Oh, yeah. You were good. <laughs> I'm gonna put these on ice. Maddie, give me a hand. Save me a seat, baby. I sure will. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I always wanted to be a professional musician. Huh. I used to play the sax, actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I can still remember the sweet sound that horn made when I backed over it with my old Buick. <laughs> so, I hear you're still seeing that girl in biology class. How long has it been? Four weeks on Thursday. Wow, four weeks. <laughs> What's that feel like? <laughs> Where'd you get it? Nothing, why? Uh-oh, big mistake. Let me tell you something about women. They love anniversaries. The day you met, the first time you went out, first time, you know, you... Uh, well, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> but the point is, not only do they expect you to remember them all, but they want something to show for it. Man... So what do we get out of it? Well, Matthew, when you find out, you let me know. <laughs> yes! Cheese heads! Che cheese heads! Oh, and this is my first Charlie Parker album. Oh. Yes, I love this record so much, I used to sleep with it. I don't sleep with it anymore, but we're still friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my wife and I used to love to listen to this. Oh, Carl mentioned you were a widower. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it's been about a year and a half. We're doing all right. Now this, this is my man. Louis. Oh, yes. Louis Armstrong. Mm. In fact, I'm working on a book about a second wife, Lillian Hardin. Really? Yeah, she had a band in the 20s. So you're a cellist, you're yeah. a writer, mm -hmm. you are so versatile. Here. What the hell are you doing with my brother? <laughs> <laughs> Once more so? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, a lot of hitting going on yeah. out there. Talking about the game, I'm talking about you. You were flirting with Jeanette so hard out there, I thought you were gonna pull a muscle. What? You think I'm flirting with my brother's girlfriend? You're crazy. Nicole, tell him. Oh, I beg you, Ben, don't force me to agree with Alex. <laughs> Daddy, can I ask you something? Oh, yeah, you were flirting, all right. 
But in his defense, boy, I can't help it. He's always been a flirt. That's my defense. Back in high school, it was Debbie Johnson. Oh, please, not the Debbie Johnson Debbie story. Johnson. Carl was crazy about it till one day when he saw Ben driving in her car with his arm around her. Carl didn't speak to him for a month. I was trying to show the girl how to signal with her arm. <laughs> Is it too late to change that to a uh, diet soda? Anything you want. Great, thank you. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, my homie, you're gonna be late for school. Hey, Dad, what do you think of this bracelet? One with the little hearts? Yeah. That's very nice. But if I were you, I wouldn't wear it to basketball practice. I'm speaking about getting it for Paige. See, it's our one month anniversary, and you know how girls are. I do? You gotta get them a gift so they have something to show for it. Ah, so the friendship, the caring, they don't count for anything, huh? Come on, Dad. How they gonna show that to their friends? Listen, I think it's great that you want to give Paige a gift, but spending a lot of money is not the way to win a girl's heart. So you're saying go with something cheap? No. <laughs> What I'm saying is, you got to give them a gift with some meaning behind it. Your mom used to love that kind of stuff. I remember for our first anniversary, uh, I had saved this, this uh, seashell from our honeymoon in Hawaii. So I put it in a jewelry box, and I wrapped it up real nice. Man, you should have seen her face when she opened that box. She looked me in the eye, and you know what she said to me? Where is the jewelry that was in that box? <laughs> no, let me start this from the beginning. It was our first anniversary. I'm a very hard worker. I stay late, I'm here early, and I have far more work than one person can possibly handle. I haven't had a raise in 13 months, and I think that I deserve one. I think you're right. Really? You see, I'm taking this course at the Learning Depot called Cut the Crap and Get What You Want, the fine art of telling the truth. Well, that's great, because the truth is we can't afford to give you one. Oh? Well, maybe they'll cover crushing rejection in the next class. <laughs> you going, Alex? Mm-hmm, baby, and this was my first Charlie Parker album. You really think I was flirting with Carl's girlfriend last night? Oh, so you're a cellist and a writer. You are so versatile. <laughs> you want to kiss me? Oh, right? that's it. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe I was flirting a little bit. I'm a naturally charming guy. I can't help it. But it was completely innocent. Yeah, I mean, Sarah and I used to double with Carl on his dates all the time. There was never a problem. I know, but you were a happily married man then. Now that you are back playing singles, buddy, you better not serve unless you are prepared for someone to volley. Wait, 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 wait. You think Jeanette was responding? Thanks for having me, Bam. No, 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 no. She didn't say it that way. No, it was more like, thanks for having me, Ben. Ben, your brother Carl's here to see you. Thanks for betraying me, Ben. <laughs> Look, my advice, if there's one thing that I learned from my marriage to Nicole, it's deny everything. What's happening, Alex? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, Carl, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, Look, this is kind of difficult, but I wanted to talk to you about Jeanette. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Ever since we left your house, she's been going on and on about you. You know, Ben's so funny, Ben's so smart. Been so nice. She said you two had a great conversation. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Ben, is there a problem? A problem? No. No, I don't have a problem. You have a problem? No. Great. I just came over here to ask you a favor. No problem. And you know why, Carl? Why? Because you're my brother, and I love you. Anything. Anything at all. Jeanette wants to meet with you privately about a book. Anything but that, Carl. Oh, come on. Now, she's not asking you to publish it. She just wants your input. Carl, there's a rule in publishing. Uh, leave your brother's girlfriend's stuff alone. Oh, oh, okay, okay, that's just fine. I ask you one little favor, and you can't do this for me. Carl, Carl, uh, what if I don't like the book? What do I do then? Oh, don't worry, man. You're gonna love her stuff. <laughs> Please don't say that, Carl. Hey, Dad. What do you think? That's well, a... Uh... It's a great-looking, uh, frog. Of course it's a frog. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the, the humpback threw me. 
I made it for Paige. See, I thought about what you said to give her something with meaning. Mm -hmm. So since we met in biology class dissecting a frog, I thought this would remind her of that. Without the guts and all. Wise choice, yes. I inscribed it, too. Uh -huh. To Paige from Maddie. B mine? B minus. Oh. That's a grade we got on our lab assignment. Oh, yeah. Nice touch, man. I'm very impressed. This is a gift from the heart, and she is going to love it. Thanks for the advice, Dad. Because yeah. next week we're dissecting a pig. I can't wait for our six month anniversary. <laughs> and you agreed to see her? Yeah, 5 30. Oh. It's the only time she could meet. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what? Well, tell him. 5.30 is a dangerous hour, okay? The office lets out. Suddenly, it's dinner. A couple of drinks. Face it, pal. 2.30 is a meeting. 5.30 is departure time for the love triangle. Oh, come on, now. Look, nothing is going to happen. If she was really interested in me, she wouldn't arrange a date through my brother. But are you kidding me? That's a pretty good angle. Yeah, but Ben, just don't be naive about the signs you're giving. Or the signs you're getting. Nicole, you gotta do better than that. The last time a woman gave me a sign was when I cut her off on the expressway. And I am pretty sure it did not come from a place of love. <laughs> Look, it's simple. You can be sure a woman wants you if she stares into your eyes all the time. Okay, no staring. Or if she touches you, you know, for no apparent reason. No touching. Or laughs too long at your jokes. Okay. No staring, no touching, no laughing. Yeah. Oh, uh, one more thing. You can be sure she wants you if you find her waiting for you in a bathtub filled with chocolate mousse. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like anybody would ever do. <laughs> hey, cancel my dessert! <laughs> All right. It's 5.32. Looks like my 5.30's not showing up. Goodbye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Jeanette called. She said she was going to be a little late. I left the message on your chair. Boy, those things really do stick anywhere. Bye, boss. Hi, Ben. Jeanette, hi. Oh. Hi. Yeah. Oh, you know, I feel really bad keeping you here so late. Would you like to talk about this over dinner? Dinner? No, no. I, I, I don't eat on Tuesday night. I like to go to bed hungry and alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just do it in your office. <laughs> oh, may I? Yeah, please, uh, help yourself. So, what'd you think of the book? I liked it, yeah. You're not just saying that. No, 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 I liked it. Uh, it did start off a little slow, though. Like here on the first page. See, what you want to do is, you want to you grab the reader's attention right mm -hmm. away. Uh, Are you staring at me? No, just listening. So uh, I started off with, with uh, uh, to Lil Harden, uh, Dreamland was like a, a smoke-filled club in, uh, in uh, downtown uh, Chicago. That's good. Yeah, you know, yeah. It jazzes it up a bit. <laughs> jazzes it up. <laughs> jazzes it up. <laughs> you got that funny, I mean. I did. Oh, I am so undone. What? Uh, your shirt. It's it's undone. Oh God. Oh, I didn't even notice. I did. <laughs> Listen, uh, Jeanette, this is all my fault. The other day, I might have sent some signals out to you that I was interested in something happening between the two of us, and I'm not. And you shouldn't be either. You think I was sending signals to you? You weren't. But you, you, you stared, you touched, you laughed, uh, you unbuttoned, and that's not even on the list. I don't believe this. This is the most insulting thing I've ever heard. Now, wait, Jeanette, I can explain. Now, don't bother. I can't believe you could be so arrogant. Do you think every woman that walks in here to talk to you about a book is after you? No, no, you were the only one. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Just because a woman suggests a meeting over dinner, sits close to you, laughs at your jokes, Spills water on her blouse. Loses a button. <laughs> Boy, this is really starting to sound questionable. That's all I'm saying. Well, when you think about it, or maybe on some subconscious level, I was sending you signs, Ben. Look, as long as your conscious level is still dating my brother, we're fine. Oh, God, Ben, what, what if I was coming on to you? What if my feelings for Carl aren't as strong as I thought they were and I'm just looking for a way out? No, no, please, stay in, stay in. Oh, Don't go out. Don't go out. Uh, the last thing I want to do is hurt Carl. 
I have to talk to him, Ben. No, please, yeah, don't yeah. talk. Right away. No, why does everybody have to talk? Why don't you and Carl go to the movies? And no talking, it's very rude. It's okay, Ben. This will be better for everyone. Somehow I don't think so. Dad. Maddie, what are you doing? Now? I can't sleep. I have something on my mind. What is it? Why are you banging around in the oven in the middle of the night? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But now that you're up, I got a question for you. How attached are you to your Uncle Carl? It's all right. I don't know why. Because I don't think he's going to be coming around much anymore. What happened? It's complicated. Oh. So it's your fault. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what Mom used to say? Yeah, never go to bed with a problem unresolved. I was going to say sleep on it. <laughs> You're not going to sleep, are you? And that means I'm not going to sleep, am I? Well, let's go wake up Uncle Carl. No way he gets to sleep. Good point. <laughs> I'm coming. Ah. You do realize it's 12 o'clock. It's 12.30. I dropped Maddie at Daddy's at 12 o'clock. At 12.08, he realized who we were. At 12.20, he stopped yelling at me. Carl, have you spoken to Jeanette? Yes. Yes, I have. Carl, this is all my fault. Yes, yes, it is. Look, I don't blame you for being mad, and I'm not trying to make excuses, but things are so different without Sarah. I just haven't figured it all out yet, Carl. But one thing I do know, I would never, ever try to steal a girl from you. How about Debbie Johnson? Okay, okay, I admit it. Oh. But Carl, she had a convertible. I was weak. Carl, is everything okay? Ben, what are you doing here? Well, I just, uh, I just thought I'd stop by and make a complete ass of myself. And I am doing an excellent job. I thought you were coming over here to... To break up. So did I. In fact, I told Carl everything that happened, and we started to talk. And he was so incredibly sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And understanding? Yeah, I understand oh. I remembered how crazy I am about him. Sure you did. Yes, huh? I am. Uh, yeah, we're not in high school anymore, huh, Benjamin? <laughs> I can see that. So, if you'll excuse me. Oh, you know that. You know what I'm talking about. Good night. Oh, Carl, man. Whew. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you being so cool about all this. I mean, you know, we, we've always been so close. I'd hate for anything to come between us. Yeah, me too. Oh, man. But, Ben. Yeah. I'm not, oh, you, I. I oh, yeah, yeah. That's a sign I can understand. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get it. No, it's Paige. I'll get it. Paige, she's here already? I can't let her see me like this. I haven't even fixed my face. Dad, please, not now. Today's our anniversary. I'm going to give her that gift. I'm a little nervous. Great. I can't wait to see how she likes it. Did I say see? I meant hear. Hear how she likes it. Later. Much later. Hi, Matthew. Hi. I'm glad you could come over. Well, this is our first month anniversary. I know. In fact, I have something for you. I've got something for you, too. You do? It's the first note we ever passed in class. I slapped it to the wood. That's cool. Thanks. She's gonna love that frog. <laughs> uh, this is for you. Wait. I wasn't sure you liked the note. So I also got you this. It's an interactive PlayStation. What do you think? It's incredible. It's, uh, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Dad, 
you got me a PlayStation, an interactive PlayStation. Do you know how much that costs? What do I do now? Just relax, relax. Give her the frog, give her the frog. Dad, it's not even a whole frog anymore. The leg broke off while I was wrapping it. I had to glue it back on. I bet you didn't have to glue together that interactive PlayStation. All right, all right, just relax, relax. Don't be afraid. They smell fear. Now put that back in the box, take it back inside. To... Look at me, Maddie, 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 Maddie. Look at me. Sell the frog. Sell the frog. Sell the frog. Sell the frog. My brother. Dead man walking. Paige? Hold this. This is for you. My dad gave me this watch for my birthday. It's really expensive. I want you to have it. Wow. Thanks. I really like it. What's in the box? Oh, you can have that, too. <laughs> it's a frog. Like the one we dissected together. That is the most beautiful gift I ever got. I love it. <laughs> oh, Maddie. Oh, Maddie. Don't say it. Now you're going to say I told you so, aren't you? Nope. I was going to say if you want to invite Paige for dinner, it's okay by me. Oh, thanks, Dad. Yeah. Chicken ought to be ready in about ten minutes. What time do you have? Yeah. <laughs> time for you to start saving for a new watch. <laughs> Getting late. What time is it anyway? Time to go to bed. Mm. My watch says 10 o'clock. What time does your watch say? It says good night. Yeah, I guess you're right. What time are you getting up? Dad, when are you gonna get this up? I don't know. What time is it now? Because I got all the time in the world. Time is on my side.